Okay, so here. It's a fine day. See, I came here from. It got bad back in Cyrodiil. Not getting getting any kind of everything. dialogue, but I have to find uh, Feindal, right? Okay, I think I found that guy. Did what I see you talking to Sven? Doing. Riverwood's agreeable doing? enough, I suppose. Or in my village. Uh, so what is your problem with Sven? He's a bard, so he says. So am I. Occasionally, he finds time to do his job here at the mill. Thinks his ballads and sonnets are going to convince Camilla Valerius to marry him. As if she would say yes. Mm -hmm. An intelligent, beautiful woman like her wouldn't fall for that nonsense. I hope. You hope. You don't sound very sure. I've been thinking. Maybe Camilla needs a little help seeing Sven for what he is. Could you... Could you give her this letter and say it's from Sven? I think I've matched that Nord's lack of cleverness perfectly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he gave me a letter. Let's go check this out. Oh. Uh, my dearest Camilla, I yearn to have you as my own, washing my linens and my fine blonde hair, to cook my dinner from my stove and tend to my house while I wander. Yours truly, Sven. Okay, so he's making him um, look like he's a, a womanizer, right? You look like a traveler. Someone that has seen faraway places and heard new stories. Listen, Feindal wanted me to deliver this letter to Camilla, and it says it was from you, and say it was from you. <sighs> what is this? The elf playing a treachery? Shocking. Okay. As if I would write this dribble. Sure. How about we play a bit of a turnabout with Feindal? Okay. Here, I had to use simple words, but this letter should convince Camilla it's from him. Until next time. Okay, dear Camilla, I know I have called upon you at your house many times, and while we may have, or while we may be growing close, I need you to put away desires you may have for me aside. I am a true-born son of Valenwood, and could never be a foul my bloodline, and never be foul my bloodline by courting an imperial. I hope we can remain true friends, provided you understand your people's place in the Altmeri Dominion and respect me as such. Oh, wow. Okay, maybe I need to bring this little thing to uh, Camilla. Maybe, you know, let her know that both men are, you know, not right for her. They're stooping to each other's level. What are you talking about? What's in the letter? Oh, my. He, he wanted me to think but Feindal wrote in this? In his defense, Feindal... Thank you for telling me the truth. Could you talk to Feindal as well? I'm sure he'll want to thank you for standing up for him. I mean, you really should know. You're not from around here. That makes two of us. Thank you so much for taking care of those thieves. The Riverwood trader is... Yeah, I don't think Camilla will be spending any more time with Sven. I appreciate your help. Please, take this. Some gold I've saved up from working at the mill. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So I have Feindal as a follower. Divine okay. smile on you, friend. Versus if I pick Sven, I would have another bard. This is an old so I care to listen to the female voices singing anyway, and uh, uh, I think he's kind of useless. Where's Feindal? I don't know you money. Now if you look here. You're Thank not from you around so here. much See. for taking care of those thieves. Oh, Nothing. Riverwood trade. Right now, once I reload. Should be able to speak to her. You're not from See. around here. That makes two of us. 
So how do you feel about having the Golden Claw returned? You know, when I looked at the Golden Claw, all I could think of was how much I envied you. Mm. You adventurers lead the most See? exciting lives, Fixed. unlike a shopkeep's sister, having to watch the store in a boring town day and night. So, how would you like to join me on my adventures? Huh. If only I could. Thanks for asking, though. It's just that my brother Lucan would never let me out of his sight. That makes me a shit for Perhaps I could talk to him for you. You'll be doing me a great favor. Granted, I haven't heard many people sing praises of Breville. Okay, I'm kind of curious. So, between Feindal and Sven, who do you favor more? Honestly, even without that whole ordeal with the letter, I'm not sure I'd ever have returned the same feelings to either of them. I had a feeling about that, you know? Why is that? I enjoy chatting with them, perhaps also the occasional flirting. But since well, the start, I've never seen them as someone I'd spend a whole life with. Oh, I understand. For all of Sven's poetry and Feindel's confidence, they're just villagers who are stuck in Riverwood, unless someone like you tug them out. I see. Which I can do. How about I put, you know, I take you and Feindal, uh, you know, as well, bring you guys along as followers. But, um... Okay. Of course. Alright, alright. Ah, uh, listen. Uh, the only people around who aren't complete fools. Look, your sister would like to accompany me um, on my adventures. Even if I don't let her come now, she would just, you know, like the choice to be able to go explore out if, if she wants to. Look, I'm forever thankful that you retrieved the claw for us. Mm. But even my gratitude has its limits. I Besides, see. what good will my sister do for you? She doesn't know how to fight. Gods, she can barely help me move the wares. Wow, you have a very low opinion of your sister, but uh, I could protect her, teach her how to fight. She does not want to stay here forever. You do seem like a seasoned fighter. For what it's worth, you did brave a Nord tomb and got us the golden claw back. Fine. If my sister wants to see the world so much, then let her. Let no one say I'm the possessive sibling. Okay. But if she so much as loses a finger out there... I'll spend every last coin to buy your head. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. Now go. Tell Camilla she has her wish at last. It means so okay. much to us to have the claw. So listen. That you're not from around here. That makes you're free. You can said that, you know, you have the freedom to leave this place if you like. Thank you, my friend. A thousand thank you. At last I can see the beauty of Skyrim with my own eyes. I'm ready to go at any moment. Just tell me when you're ready to leave. Okay, and that is how it's done. Tell me a bit about yourself, Camilla. Sure thing. It's always good to have someone to talk to. Sure. Oh, so where are you from? My brother and I came from the city of Skingrad originally. Where Skingrad. Our the wow. Business. Sadly, my parents passed away a few years after I was born, so my brother Lucan has been the only family I've really known. Yeah, Skingrad, a uh, very good uh, uh, city in Oblivion and a very expensive house. And there is that paranoid uh, Bos um, Bosmer there. Psst, over here, right? Uh, so why didn't uh, Lucan want you to leave Riverwood? I guess he's just afraid. I see. After all, I am all the family he's got. To raise me and manage our parents' business, he missed his best years to start his own family. If oh, anything were to wow. happen to me out there, then he then would he truly would be, be alone. alone. I understand. And why make the move to Skyrim, both of you? With the devastation of the Great War, so too came absurd taxes. For the Emperor had gotten into a debt that can't be repaid in three generations. In the end, my brother decided it wasn't worth living down in Cyrodiil anymore. Paying the Empire six coins for every ten he made. So he sold the business and had us move to Skyrim. Better life, better law, and better taxes. Fresher air, too. That's a yeah, no doubt. Yeah, it does have a nice, cool, crisp air. 
you uh do you miss your Adele? Not really. I had a few friends back in Skingrad, but mm. most of them have moved to Skyrim or High Rock already. Then there's family. But all my family is in Skyrim and you know who he is. You if know, there's anything about Cyrodiil that I miss, I guess it's the food. But it's not like I can't find good food here. I just have to learn how to make them. Just hearing this story about her coming from Skingrad and, and everything, even though she doesn't really miss it except for the food, it makes me think of Beyond Skyrim even more. And uh, I can't wait till finally they open up everything in Cyrodiil. Or at the very least, I know they're opening it up little by little, you know, like Ruma is the start of it, and I don't know what they're working on next. Uh, was it Braville or something? But when they get around to Skingrad, I cannot wait to go over there, bring Camilla with. I think that would be that would be very cool. Okay, well, you. You farewell. You get to go on adventures again. Yeah.